Now, when it comes to implementing those strategies, you work with big companies, small companies, uh, individuals, business uh, uh, businesses and whatnot. Are there different levels of SIF that you implement or teach their teams? Absolutely. And also so, well, explain more about SIF as well. Yeah. So <laughs> SIFT is an acronym I coined. It stands for Strategic Insight and Foresight Team. Um, and really team is, you could substitute the word team for function. SIFT is a function that helps the businesses about gather evidence, analyze it, build a story, and then do something with it. It's that simple. At scale, those teams have many, many more pieces to work with. When you have a, a, mar a chief marketing officer with a marketing team, a customer success officer, a sales team, those teams now have to interact and work with a variety of different people to get things done. At smaller scale, those teams, that function now has to work with a variety of different domains to get things done. So going back to my example where Fong and I have created a business, we still are going to want to do marketing. We're still going to want to do product development. We're still going to want to do sales and data is still going to be coming in. Our SIF is now a function of, okay, how are we going to, what are we, how are we going to gather this evidence? How are we going to analyze it? And then how are we going to use it, store it to create data stories that help us move forward and grow the business? Because at the end of the day, a business is only as good. I mean, it's only a business if it's growing. Right. Like the reality is, is people, I'm not, I'm not obtuse that that there are some businesses that that want to do a lot of good for the world, but a business won't exist very long if it's spending a million dollars to make a thousand. Mm, exactly, it's kind of backwards. <laughs> um, really